Hi, everybody. JB back again with episode 26 in my series, Did You Ever Wonder? And this, as I promised before, is Street Names Part 2. We're going to do some more street names around town and where they came from. This little picture, I'll come back to this later on. Okay, so the first one would be Lafayette and Greg, which is a really obvious one, isn't it? It's named after Mr. Lafayette Greg. I think it's the only one in town, and maybe not very many places even have a thing like that, is that uh, his, his streets <laughs> cross each other, but they're ready to where his home is. And uh, anyway, so uh, here's a picture actually of the home there. It sits on what would that be, the southwest uh, corner of, uh, of Lafayette and Greg, <laughs> as you might know. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that the stretch from Greg up to Arkansas Avenue that's Lafayette today for a long stretch of time was Ida, and that was one of his daughters. That's, if you look in history around that, you'll see that that's what that's about. But anyway, you, you all know Mr. Greg was a, uh, a, a union man, military man, and he was a uh, basically responsible, you know, he's, every day he was checking on the building of Old Main and things like that. So very uh, renowned person in town. Anyway, he's got his streets right there together, Lafayette and Gray. That's why we have those. Now this is over by Wilson Park or what we a lot of old timers call City Park. Uh, all these streets are run over there, Wilson Avenue, and they're named after the Wilson family, in particular the members of A.M. Wilson. He's one of the early settlers here. He was a lawyer. He defended, uh, or he worked for uh, Cherokee uh, Concerns. He was their lawyer for a lot of things. Uh, Louise Street, which, well, Wilson Avenue runs on the west side of Wilson Park. The Wilson Park's named after the family. They used to, uh, the west part of the park used to be called Wilson's Pasture. <laughs> so the Wilsons have everything to do with it. Uh, and I'll, again, let me show you, here's a picture of Charles Mar Wilson, <laughs> the grandson of A.M. Wilson. And he's the one that sold the western side of the park to the city and got it named to Wilson Park. And then to the south up the hill, there the first street above the park is Louise Street. And that is A.M. Wilson's uh, granddaughter, uh, the daughter of Robert J. Wilson. Uh, that would make her, I think, that would be Charles Mara Wilson's first cousin. So that's why there's so much Wilson <laughs> names over in uh, the park. They lived really near there. In fact, I should mention the family home was at, at Maple and, and, and Wilson on this, the, where the Pi Fi house is. Okay, so anyway, so Isla Street over there, also near the park, just a little above, a few blocks above Isla Street. I don't, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of any of these, the women, unfortunately, but uh, Isla was the wife of AF Wolf, who I've talked about many times. You see, here's a picture from 1906 Razorback. As wealthy as he was at the time, he was still the manager of the football and baseball teams at the U of A, but the streets named after his wife, Isla. And then over by the university to the, what is that, north of the university, Leverett and all these streets, Storer, Whittem, Lindell, and then Rose Hill, which I talked about in an earlier episode, uh, those are all children of, to my understanding, they're all children of, uh, of Professor Charles H. Lever, who was the who was the second professor, if you will, he, he and Noah Gates were the faculty when the university, I mean Arkansas Industrial University, opened in 1872. They were the two professors. <laughs> one was the president, one was the, another teacher. But all those are now. Although the Lindell is somewhat, I'm, I can't. I'm pretty sure that's a, a son's name, and the Whittem also matches up to a professor. Now I don't know if Professor Lever named the son after the professor or whatever. But that's my understanding. And certainly store, I'm 100% on that and Rose Hill, 100% on that. The Widow and Lindell have a little bit of a shaky thing with, with their naming. And of course, Professor Levert had come out, I'm gonna talk about this later on in another episode, it come out of uh, Ozark Institute in Mount Comfort. He had taught there before he taught at the Arkansas Industrial University. One of the you know, famous first professors at the University of Arkansas, I'm gonna go ahead and just call it that uh, in our very beginning. St. Charles Street is a street that runs beside uh, the US Post Office there at St. Charles and Dixon Street. And 
the, the street is named after a little boy who died young. His name was Charles William Bowles, and this is his stone there in Evergreen Cemetery. He was the son of, uh, of Thomas and uh, Clementine Watson Bowles. And that's why that street is St. Charles, the name after this little boy who died so young. And this is on his little stone there. I must go to heaven and see my father. Don't cry, mama. Extremely sentimental and probably painful for other people to read. But anyway, there it is. That's why you have St. Charles over there. It's named after that little boy who died at three. Okay, and Buchanan Street, which is runs to the east side of Fayetteville High School, is named after John L. Buchanan. By the way, there's a bunch of John Buchanans in the state in our history, but this one was the president of the Arkansas Industrial University. You can see his dates and you can see when he was the president. And what's the thing that noted about Mr. Buchanan, President Buchanan here, is that while he was the president in 1899, the Arkansas Industrial University was renamed the University of Arkansas. So he was the, at the helm of the ship when, when the name was changed. And Mission Boulevard, I've told you before, that's because the Henderson School that's in the background behind all the kids here and the teachers, uh, it was originally called in the old language of the time, the Mission School for Negroes Only. It was built, like I said, in 1868 by the American Society of Friends. I, I always get that name wrong, but it's <laughs> something along those lines. They came to town right after the Civil War to build a school for the children of the newly emancipated people. Anyway, so that's why you have Mission Boulevard, because it's a mission school. There it is right there, Henderson School. By the way, this is a picture from 27. Uh, Henderson closed in 1836 and was replaced by Lincoln School, which was at the southeast corner of Willow and Center. And I'm hoping someday we'll get a plaque to recognize uh, uh, Lincoln School there. Henderson still exists as part of a home. I think I've told you that before. Okay, Trenton Avenue, which runs off of the park. And if you've seen my, here I did one on the parks. And you remember the A.L. Trent, this is Mr. A.L. Trent right here. He ran City Park at that time called City Park privately for the public, very spirit, public spirited person uh, for many years. And uh, the street that leads off of there, that angle street that goes over to college, that's Trenton Avenue, meaning belonging to Trent. And that's Trenton Avenue. That's why that's there because of Mr. Trent who's one of my favorite people from our past. And here's that picture that I love so much taken across Trent's Pond, which is where the softball field is now. It was a little league field when I was a kid. You can see old May in the background. This is taking just up the hill and prospect a little ways. I tried to reproduce this photo, but you need to be a decent photographer to reproduce this. You gotta go halfway up the, the hill. Anyway, that's a wonderful old picture from the 1920s. Okay, and I think I'm going to end here on this batch. That's I've done two sets of these. College Avenue, as you know, is not named after the University of Arkansas, the Arkansas Industrial University. It's named after Arkansas College, which was located on the southeast portion of uh, Dixon and, and uh, College. And that's why it's called College, because the Arkansas College. It existed from 1850 to 1861, Reverend Robert Graham, uh, founded it. He had come from the Ozark Institute with Robert Mecklen. I'm going to talk about it again later. It lasted in 1861 when it basically all the guys were getting ready for the Civil War and they just they couldn't keep it going. And then during the you know February and March, I think this was in March of 1862 when the, the town was burned to the ground, they burned uh, the Arkansas College to the ground too. And so, but anyway, that's why we have College Avenue. <laughs> uh, not named after the University of Arkansas. And uh, the uh, you can see that center building there is the location of the main Arkansas College building, which is exactly where the Christian church stands today. Maybe a little closer to it, but not much. It's basically right there. And I won't repeat my story about how I feel <laughs> the Confederate troops riding across me while I'm inside there. But that, it's a very, very historic location. The church on its own is historic and it sits on top of even more history. So anyway, so that I believe is uh, my uh, episode 26, part two of the street names. And I hope you uh, enjoyed those. I think that the street names are certain things in town you could just go on and on and on. But uh, that's, all, that's all I've got for today on those. 
And uh, if I can get this thing to work again, here we go. And uh, that's episode 26. I will be back with some more soon. And uh, thank you very much for your patience. And I appreciate you. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.